the weather. Fuck it. It's cold. Oh my god, I've been telling them for years. I told you guys. I told you the government's after us. I told you the conspiracies are real. No. No one to believe me. Nobody. God. I'm coming at you with weather with Hellraiser from a secret location. I can't tell you because it's friggin' secret. If you knew it, they could probably find me. Bastards. <laughs> Alright, but for real, guys, conspiracies are friggin' ridiculous. They're real. They're really coming to get us. They really want to friggin' kill our freedom of speech. And, and, and it's been so freaking cold out. Ugh. So afraid. It's friggin' cold. It's so cold that it's probably gonna snow this weekend, guys. Ugh. Last yesterday was negative two. Today it's friggin' 16 degrees out right now, but the, with the wind chill, it's probably friggin' close to zero. I gotta go, guys. I really gotta go. This freaked me out, man. It's freaked me out. See, I'll be doing a show. I'll raise it later. Ah, see you then, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, as you saw, we had the weather room with the Night Rider. That was, that was, um... That dude's always angry. Yeah. What the hell? I can never do it. I can never have him do anything. Ah, oh, come on. You know, you're good. You're, you, you and him are freaking exactly the same. You both hate each other. <laughs> Not hate each other. I mean, you both hate everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Night Rider, as you saw on the Weather Channel, said, it is cold. Or, correct words, it's fucking cold. Uh, the other day I had to stand outside waiting for a friggin' buses and oh, I was like zero degrees. Oh my god. Well, technically wind chill is like negative 30, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Crazy. But we have an interesting story. Ladies and gentlemen, if you tuned into last week's edition of the Boneyard, last week's edition. What the fuck? And we're telling our facts. Remember the, remember the gun facts we had? Yeah. Well, we have to show you a little <clears throat> something. Tell me this is not conspiracy. I think YouTube and whatever else is trying to ban us from tell using our freedom of speech. So we want to show you this video of you guys all sorry if you watched last week you'll see this and we'll show you exactly what we're talking about right here. So we're gonna bring you to that video right now, alright? Alright, so there's a student that had a firearm on him that confronted the shooter, okay. stopping the shooting. Good. Freaking crazy. Can you believe that? Wow. They want to block out our gun facts. It's unbelievable. It is, isn't it? People. Like I said last week, guns ain't the problem regardless. People are the problem. And they decided to block us out. <laughs> We're just trying is to that conspiracy or what? Yeah. I think that's conspiracy. conspiracy. You guys can check the video out, it's all over, right? <laughs> Just look at this video, come on. Crazy. We start talking about the gun thing and all of a sudden it cuts us off saying weekly tests will return to the program after that. We didn't put that on there. The hell? That's not what we put on there. That was put on there to they block our freaking cut us off, it seems like. So, maybe we should put the full thing on there for you guys to see. <laughs> Again, again. And see if they threw it again. <laughs> conspiracy, uh, man. I'm starting to believe more and more in conspiracy. I thought Hellraiser was the only one that believed in conspiracy, but you know what? I'm starting to believe more in it now too. <laughs> he's actually right for once. Uh, that's he's he's never gonna let us hit the end of that, is he? That he's actually right on conspiracy for once. <laughs> God damn it! We even have some more conspiracy for you guys that we're gonna bring up in the newsroom today. But, you know, after that, since you saw that video, as you guys can see the video, whatever, um, we're going to go to another break, and we're going to bring you back to the Sea Money and Knight Riders' favorite moments. And I believe they got something good this time, so <laughs> yep. check it out. It's another good match. 
you know, see Monday Night Rider, both themselves, individuals, whatnot, have freaking nasty matches all together. One of the craziest matches they've ever been in. Well, not they've been. They've always been the craziest matches. That's all I got to say. But that buried live matches. Come on now. Who does buried live matches? Not many people. Yeah, Hardcore we, matches we gotta to the in, extreme. Got to dig into the archives for that one. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get our old archives back in the day. I'm talking about back when we did the buried live matches. <laughs> back way back to freaking 1996. Maybe 1996, maybe a little bit later, but we're gonna bring those back for you guys so you guys can check them out. And right, maybe I'll join them. See Money and Night Rider's favorite moments, and it'll be like the See Money, Night Rider, and Trip T favorite moments. <laughs> oh, yeah. All three of us will be on video for you, Sweet. talking about favorite <laughs> moments. But I'm gonna bring those back. I'm gonna dig them out later on today. I'm gonna try digging out the old archives so we can show you guys what we used to do. Wrestling, we wrestled on cement and whatever else they wrestled on. Yeah, <laughs> crazy days. We've been, we've been up and down, and hoping at least this year we'll go up. Last year we went up. The year before that, kind of down. Yeah, kind of up. It was up down year. I'm hoping this year we skyrocket. Last year was a friggin' short season. Yeah, short season last year, and hopefully this year, since we're gonna have a full season this year, I'm hoping we can skyrocket our, skyrocket our show. So you guys can check it out, and I hope you guys all enjoy it. It's going to be more brutal this year, I think. I think we're going to have a little bit more hardcore matches. Oh, yeah. I'll bring it back Not up. just see money either. I think there's going to be Knight Rider and a few <laughs> hardcore matches, because you know Knight Rider is just as crazy as you see money. That's the reason why you guys are the tag team. Stepping up, <laughs> stepping up in the game. <laughs> but Knight Rider is probably one of the craziest that we wrestled that has wrestled with us besides see money i got to get my buddy back. Yeah. <laughs> And we had that other guy, freaking Cactus D. So it was Cactus D, C Money, and Knight Rider back in the day that were like the craziest son of bitches, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and hopefully we have more this year, which I think we will. I think it's going to be a good year. I feel it's going to be a good year this year. Hoping. I just hope so. Hope it. We'll find out. We'll see how much of a fan base we get. But we're going to show you that. We'll, we'll uh, bring you to the comedy corner right next to him. Breaks in the I believe this one that we're going to be doing is going to be Robin Williams. If you guys know Robin Williams, you want to find some bitch. It's going to be the next one called the Corner. After that, we're going to be doing favorite moments with C Money and Night Rider. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Woo woo! <laughs> Go. Oh, it's not a great idea. Because in California, we are a 60% Hispanic state, we elected an Austrian governor. Even old Nazis are going, that's weird. He has a hard time even saying the name of the state. Arnold, where are you going? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. And he's married to a Kennedy, Maria Shriver, who has been getting thinner and fucking thinner and smaller. I believe he is sucking the Kennedy out of her. Slowly, slowly but surely becoming a Kennedy by assimilation. Which is kind of cool. That's how you get a liberal Republican, which is neat. It's like a Volvo with a gun rack. You don't see a lot of them. And in terms of energy policies, 21st century. Stem cell research, 21st century. Immigration, Arnold's a little old school. Arnold, how will you handle immigration? I will build a wall. And even the Chinese go, that will not fucking work. They will go around your wall. And who will build the wall? The people you are trying to fucking keep out. <laughs> so maybe you want to invent some self-picking fruit real quickly. Come with me right now. In California, we barely balanced the budget. They were coming up with weird alternatives to balance the budget, like selling San Quentin as real estate. What the fuck? Are you going to open some sort of severe spa? These are the lovely sodomy suites. Come with me over here. Oh, don't sit in that chair. <laughs> it's too late. Thank you. And they're going to close Guantanamo and I go, what are you going to open there? Maybe an amusement park. We'll call it Muslim Mountain. It'll be cool. <laughs> Hold the water slide, baby. Strap you to a board and send you head first into a pool. <laughs> and where are they going to send all those guys from Guantanamo? And people in Texas are going, we'll take them. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> no! And 
the whole budget crisis, the whole manic recession, we just come through this whole manic recession. Remember the bank saying, we're too big to fail. It's like saying, too fat to diet. What the fuck? What are you doing? Remember they came to us going, we need $500 billion. We went, okay, here you go. A week later, we need some more. <laughs> but you fuckers are economic freebasing. What are you doing? <laughs> They're like a group of junkies who've relapsed and are going, no, my man, this ends. I just need some liquidity, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just ran into some bad subprime, you know? We had some complex formulas. We just didn't factor in greed and panic. Yeah. I just need $805 billion by Tuesday. I would not fuck you again. And my God, it's insane. And in the midst of all this, there was Bernie Madoff, an embezzler named Madoff. Yes. Was the name not a clue? Did he have to be with the accounting firm of Dewey Fuck You and How? And now, Bernie's in prison where insider trading's a whole other game. The bull market's what your ass will bear, motherfucker. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Pay back the bitch. Yeah. And then the automobile companies needed help. And I thought, wait a minute. Wouldn't it be cool if the oil companies gave a little money to the automobile companies? I know it's like your dealer paying for rehab, but why not? Give us a shot. And now we're trying to get off the petroleum titty. It's like we're trying to kick it. How are we doing this? Well, we're looking for alternative fuels. Some of the alternative fuels are a hydrogen-powered car. Cool idea. If you're thinking of a hydrogen-powered car, I have one word for you. Hindenburg, good luck. A more interesting gas and a lot more fun is helium. Number one, with helium, you could float over the potholes. And if you get into an accident, you get out of the car with road rage going, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I've got a fuel leak. How weird is that? I can't kick your ass. I sound like a chipmunk. This is that. Look at all the clowns getting out of the trunk of my car. Fuck off. And I found another alternative fuel, and I found it by accident. I was having my morning coffee, and I had my morning coffee for two reasons. One, to kickstart my brain, but number two, and more importantly, to jumpstart my colon. More importantly, and the moment I had my morning coffee, it's like, morning, everybody. Fire in the hole! Sun, open the bathroom door! I don't care if you're rubbing one out, I've got to drop a resume! Open the door! And even the dog's going, he's leaking methane! There's a dead canary in the corner, like, oh! And I went, wait a minute, 